right, we're here today with our 1980 Drascom Lugger Anka High. This is the uh, glamour shot mode. Got things set up just for pictures. Not uh, we rig the boat, we uh, raise the sails just to check and make sure all the rigging's correct before we actually put in at the dock. So some of the dock notes is uh, make sure your winch is unhooked before you try to launch. And as part of the rigging earlier, we hooked the uh, roller furling up. Where'd my little pin go? There it is right there. There's a little uh, cotter pin with the keeper ring. The roller furling, when you pull the line, it just rolls that jib up. So when you get to the dock, you can pull the line back in the middle of the boat. Roll up your jib or let it loose when you pull on the sheet. The jib comes out. Some other notes when we uh, we'll just go bow to stern, not necessarily in order of how we'd rig it, but just some notes along the way. This is a, a sliding gunter rig. You got about a 16 foot lower mast and another uh, top mast. I don't, it's around 10 feet or so. Got the little boom jaws there about halfway up. You gotta make sure that was jaws and then all these little lines with peril beads. You get all that rigged when you step the mast you have to make sure all of that beads and boom jaw are above this thwart because if you try to raise it later it's going to hit the bottom down you go this is the uh, halyard for the main and this is the downhaul for the main comes up through the ring on the tack back down and belays on the other side down at the base of the mast, either while you're stepping it or after we tie off our, uh, throw a little bowline on our anchor line, keep the anchor line stowed forward. Come over to a jib sheet. It goes outside of these uh, side stays, down through the uh, fair lead, out through the cam cleat. Throw a figure eight on the end of it. So it doesn't get loose and get away. As far as the side stays or shrouds go, they're wired and they come down to a little line leader. That line goes through this fair lead a couple times, back up and down, or U-bolt if you will, a couple times and then a few half hitches to hold it. So far we like keeping our oars right in the middle. We're used to them being there. They're easy access if we need to go to them. Speaking of oars, keep the oar locks handy. Little side lockers back uh, on the aft end of these lockers so we can throw them in to the uh, oar lock sockets if we need it. And back there across the other side, you can see where the uh, roller furling line comes back to a little pleat and uh, ties off there. Further back, there's an aft locker. Like I say, this is a glamour shot. Normally that hatch would be gone. It will be, uh, that's where the galley and the water bucket uh, stays at. We keep uh, some spare cushions back there. This has the uh, main sheet system. I think the best thing I've heard it described as is as the W. There's a ring over there that slides back and forth on the traveler. You know, there's no boom on the lugger, but there is a big size block there. So anybody sitting right about here, either the skipper or some other passenger, that's, that's one thing to watch out for. So these are the two sheets for the main one on either side. You can adjust it there. For the uh, rudder, you know, you, can't, you don't want to launch with it down just like you wouldn't launch with the centerboard down. And uh, we saw an idea to make this little uh, crutch to put under the bottom of it to uh, hold it there. Uh, before we had had it laying in the bottom of the boat and you're trying to wrestle all that at the dock while the boat's bobbing up and down or a little bit of wake. So. One other tip for launching is just take all of these lines and just sweep them out of the way or for, I'm sorry, for stepping the rudder. Just take all the lines, kind of sweep them all out of the way, and then just drop your rudder in if you have this system. 
Here's our uh, mizzen. And let's see, well, let's back up to the, we decided to put a little anchor back here. Got about 50 feet of line, a little a small Danforth. We put the running end of it out the bottom of the bag and just tied a bowline around the mizzen. Then we coiled all the line in there and then put the anchor on top of it. So if we need to throw out a stern anchor real quick, we can just grab the anchor out the top of the bag, uh, deploy it, and then the line will feed out as needed. Got a nice cleat here to cleat off to. Saro Suzuki, uh, four stroke, six horsepower. Back aft here, as far as rigging goes, the mizzen comes off the clue comes down to this center line of the boat through the fair lead and then forward it's kind of you figure it out if you put it in the, going the wrong way up through this little fair lead in the transom back forward underneath all of these other lines and up to the little uh, jam cleat up here another thing we'll do before we launch just like we don't have the center board down or the rudder down We'll take the bumpkin loose. And slide it in. So that if someone comes in, they're not used to a sailboat with the bumpkin in it or the boat swings around, we don't snag it on the dock. Then once we get the boat ready to go, slide the bumpkin out. There's my fancy hat. And off you go. Shout out to Sharon house boats since these nice drastic hats they're still building these like a brand new if you need one so give them a call they'll get you hooked up like i say this is glamour shop mode now we're going to go uh, stow the rest of our gear and uh, show you what it looks when we're actually ramped and ready with our new uh, floorboards cut out of cypress and our reconditioned oars and that's it our 1980 Aston Lugger, Anka Height. And you pause the uh, backward zoom here. We'll get a little shot of the sails doing some trailer sailing today.